Hey there and welcome, my name is Carlos Berlis and let's start talking about what has been going on in the indie tabletop RPG scene. And as always, I'm not being directly sponsored by anyone mentioned here unless explicitly said or mentioned otherwise. Some links may be affiliate links so that they can benefit me without costing you anything extra. And all the links, they will be in the description together with some timestamps so that you can jump to the point of your preference. First, we start with a project that, although it's being released from outside the Latin America, it is part of RPG Latin. The Latin American tabletop RPG scene, if you are not familiar with RPG Latin by now, it is the Latin Outbreak by So Muppet Publishing. So, so Muppet, they are based in the UK, but they are getting this project that is the main idea to bring some RPG Latin members to the limelight and the scene as a whole. This Kickstarter campaign has just started and it will be running up until beginning of December and it's getting close to funding if it's not already funded by the time of the posting of this video. It brings five different creators with five different titles. So the first one is Brave Zenith by Juliano Hoverato, which we already featured here on an interview before. Ultra y Eterna by Luna or Lapis Lunaris. Here There Be Monsters by Wendy Wu, the creator of MM and MM. Mayflies by Hashi, which will be a post-apocalyptic game by of some tough decisions, and Cantrip by Misha Panarin. They are all, all great. The illustrations that we've seen so far are top-notch, bringing the spirit of each game directly to your mind, because each title is independent in a way, in so they all have different illustrators and styles so that they can bring the most of each one and the image that the creators had about the game. And plenty of the editing will be done by Pamu, or Pam Punzalan from RPGC, the southeastern tabletop RPG scene. So we have this kind of collaboration between other creators from the global south. Speaking about RPGC, another Kickstarter that is worth your attention right now is Reach of the Roach God which is actually a part of A Thousand Thousand Islands, if you're not familiar already. This is a system-neutral RPG campaign that is heavily inspired by the huge amount of islands and caves that you may find in Southeast Asia. The campaign for funding a print run of the Reach of the Roach God. The black and white art line is looking more than amazing. The book will be around 200 or 300 pages long with ancient bones, underground rivers, holy spirits, and tons, tons of roaches, if you get from, from the title. So check it out. And since we are in a Kickstarter vibe, Chris Bissett from Luther Room, that we already also had here on another interview, we have now his latest campaign that is down in Yongardi, a solo fantasy game for Troika. Well, Perhaps some of you are already aware that Troika is kind of based on fighting fantasy. The books of Choose Your Own Path and such. Well, Chris is now taking Troika back to its roots. You will play as a newly qualified Yongardi lawyer, taking their first trial. Well, about to take their first trial when everything goes sideways and you are accused of murder. Now, make your own choices and see how the story plays out, because this GMless game, it will be like these old fantasy, fighting fantasy titles that you will choose your own story and navigate through the book. Talking about GMless games, we have the release of Horse Girl, a game by Bebelgum Sam. It was just released this week and it's getting some very good results on each. And it is based on The Wretched and Alone that we mentioned here before several times, and on Horse Girl, you play as a woman in their late 20s in an unfulfilling life, and you will document her transformation into a horse. Yeah, this transformation will be done by the love of her life, and or your life, because you are playing as a girl, and it is a mental and surgical transformation, so check the content warning for the game, okay? Uh, safety first, because you are up for a ride. Another solo game is Time to Kill by Gila RPGs. Time to Kill is a game that you play with dice, a deck of cards, as well as something to write or document your play, like most of the solo journaling games. But this time you are a 
killer for hire waiting in a hotel lobby before your target arrives. The game is on each funding right now. I believe that they already reached their first goal, but uh, you can check it out and try it. And I love the aspect that each suit represents and how they influence the gameplay, how each one makes you reflect on what you are doing there, what you are doing about your career, and how you will play it out in the end. Another title that I want you to check is No Time, No Place. It was released as part of the Pocket Places Jam and the Scissors and Glue Tabletop RPG Jam. Both were already mentioned here on previous episodes. You should check them out because they are very, very interesting jam uh, propositions. And this system agnostic title takes you to another dimension where a voice called system, or at least is how the voice calls itself, compels you to explore the landscapes. I very much like it, the way that they put the game together and how it's looking, so check it out. And I also want to bring your attention, now it's not a release, it's an awesome initiative by Diwata, where they are offering some affinity keys for uh, publisher, photo, or designer, the three main softwares from Affinity, you have to be from the Global South to apply, and they are prioritizing marginalized communities as well, like people of color, disabled, LGBTQAI people, and such. So if you might be interested in getting one of these Affinity products, uh, I already use the publisher, uh, and I love it, If but you have the other two options as well if you already if you already have the publisher and you fit the criteria, go and fill the forms. It is quite easy. And I really think that this is a great initiative from Diwata. Talking about gems, something a bit different today, that is the Altehiti uh, gem for CyberConf 3, which is an annual gaming convention for the Francophone scene, so people that speak French. The team, as the name suggests, is Altehiti, that we can translate to alterity or otherness. You can create uh, whatever you see fit, uh, so not just tabletop games, virtual games, uh, H uh, HQs, uh, anything that you, even poetry, if you think that it follows the theme. And although not explicitly mentioned, I would say to think about creating your project in French. You can even partner perhaps with someone that speaks French and then you release it in English and French, if you so prefer. Like, I guess that it's a good idea and it brings the idea of jams working together and the indie scene to the best use. Now about posts and threads. Uh, I will start with this interesting blog post from Diogo Otsuko Nogueira. It is actually part of a series of posts that he is now releasing to explore and define iconic encounter types that we see often on tabletop games. This particular one he called, uh, you must be this tall to ride. And I won't go into details here so that you can go check the blog post itself. So check this awesome series of posts that he is putting together. Another blog post that I really recommend you uh, is to check the fashion procedure by D66 Classless Kobolds. They take inspiration from Mouse Reader and give some awesome advice on how to run and manage factions on open play. Because we have a lot of different ways of dealing with the whole world, but fashion sometimes can be a bit tricky. So it's very insightful and I encourage you to read it and get informed by it. Also, last but certainly not least, I am running a bundle for my birthday as I will be reaching 30. So we have the 30 days for 30 bundle that offers six of my titles for as low as three bucks, or you can get each one of the titles individually by 30% off. So regularly, all the six titles together will would be 15 bucks, so you can get like 80% off and buy the bundle, and you help to support in the news and to, in a way, gift me something for my birthday. And for today, I believe that's it. If you like the video, like the damn video, share, subscribe. You know how internet works. Uh, let me know in the comments what you are liking about the series, what you are disliking, what you want to see more or less. Uh, you can pay me a coffee on Coffee. You can buy my games on itch.io, like the bundle that I mentioned. And I will see you all in my next video. So, see ya!